In a Creole parametric drawing, you can create a balloon note, which is text inside of a circle. There are a couple different ways in which you can get to this command. One way is from the table tab. Then you can go to the balloons overflow menu. Here is the balloon note command. Another way that you can get to the command is from the annotate tab. And if you go to the annotations overflow menu, here we have the balloon note command as well. I will click on the command and this is going to open up the menu manager. And if you ever created regular standard notes in Pro Engineer, this menu should look familiar to you. This is how all notes used to be created back in the day. And so you will start out by making your choices from the top to the bottom. So first off, I will create one with no leader. You could do it with a leader. You could make it on an item or offset. You can enter in the text for the note directly, or you could read it in from a file. You can choose whether the orientation is going to be horizontal or vertical. And if you are doing a leader, you could choose what kind of leader you want to use. I will show that in a moment. And then we have some different choices for the text style, such as default, choosing something from the style library, or using the current style. I will leave the defaults for all of those and then choose make note. And now we're being prompted to select a location for the note. Let me zoom in where I want to create it and I'll put it right next to my standard note that I have on there. And then you'll start typing in the text that you want to appear inside of the circle. And I'll just use the capital letter A for my text and then I can hit the enter key and then you get the same text field again. And this is for creating a multi-line note. So you can keep on typing text if you want. If you are happy with the text that you have written, you can hit the enter key. And then we have our balloon note created. And there you see that text inside of the circle. Now let's take a look at creating a note with a leader. So I will choose with leader this time. And once again, I will enter it directly. Let's keep the same orientation. We do have the additional choices now for using a normal leader or a tangent leader, depending on what you choose there, then you get the left center and right choices. But I'm happy with all of this. I will choose make note. And then we get another menu manager with the leader type. And so the default is automatic. In other words, it'll show up just like the default arrowhead that you have selected in your detail options. But you could choose whether you want different kinds of dots or slash or integral or box, so forth and so on. And also at this time, I'm being prompted to select the geometry where I want the leader to be attached. And I will attach it to this edge. And then I will use the middle mouse button in order to specify that I am done with what I want the leaders to be attached to. You can have it attached to multiple different leaders. And I'm going to use the same text as before, just the letter A. If you take a look in the lower right hand corner of the screen, we also have a text symbol dialog box that opens up and it's got about 35 different symbols that you could use in your note as well. But I'm happy with this. I will just hit the check mark to accept the value. This will just be a single line note. There I have my letter A inside of the circle with the leader. I'm going to choose uh, just middle mouse button to get out of this command. Hold on, let me hit done return. Get out of the command there. A uh, couple things to note right now, both of these are selected. I'm gonna click on the background of the screen to deselect. And then when you uh, pick on the object, you could choose to move it around if you want to adjust its position. If I want this particular balloon note to move along with this note over to the side, I could choose the relate to object command when the note is selected and then pick the other note and we have related it to the object. Another thing that you can do is if you pick this one over here and move it, you can see that it is moving the leader appropriately. We also have that little box below my cursor with the multiple lines. I just wanna show you that if you hold down 
the right mouse button, you get some additional commands like how you can edit the attachment and the arrow style, insert a jog and so forth. Okay, let's see one last thing to mention for balloon notes. You can set a minimum or maximum size of the balloons that is allowable on your drawing. If I go to file and then prepare and drawing properties, this opens up the drawing properties dialog box. You can click on the blue change hyperlink to the right of detail options. And this will open up your detail options. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom in the group that has miscellaneous options. We have two different options that we can use. There is max balloon radius, default value is zero, and min balloon radius, default value for that is zero as well. If I scroll over to the right in the description of the detail options, it will also inform you that if you are using a value of zero, then the size of the balloon radius will be dependent on the text size itself and there is no minimum or maximum set. All right, that's good. I can close and close. And so that is how you can create balloon notes on drawings in Creo Parametric.